Hello everyone. From my previous video, you know now how to create volume in NetApp Simulator. So let's take another example how to create Q3 in NetApp Simulator using Ansible. Search for Ansible storage modules in internet. You should go for the first link which is storage modules and keep going down until you see NetApp modules. You will see uh, you may see a two different type of modules, one module ending with D and then another module which is not ending with D. These are the modules which are depreciated modules and NetApp or Ansible does not provide support for them or there is no new features has been added in these modules. It is always advisable and recommended use the latest module so if you will go down in this documentation you will see a module called na underscore on tap underscore q3 just go to this module and you will see a different parameter which you can use in this module same way how we have used the different parameters in the volume module so this is very basic module where using which you can create Q3 in simulator. So now let's jump into code and see how we can create Q3 using Ansible module. Let me create a new file and let me first save it so that we can see the color coding for our YAML file. Before I go ahead and create the Q3, I need some information from existing simulator to which we need to pass in the module while creating the Q3. So, one of the information is volume name. So we can see we have a volume called Ansible test wall 01 under which we will create the Q3. And we know our server name also. So this is vserver1. So now let's start creating a playbook to create a Q3. The name of the playbook is going to be Q3 Action. Let's define some task. The name of the task is going to be Create Q3. The module which we are going to use here is NA underscore on tab underscore q3 as we are creating a q3 so state should be always present let's decide the name of the q3 the name of the q3 i'm going to use here is ansible test q3 zero one now let's take the flex volume name which in our case is ansible test wall 01 let's take the v server name which in our case is v server 1 host name is our simulator ip address in my case is 192.168.0.1.150 user name is admin password 
is password123. So let me explain this playbook to you. So this playbook is going to create a Q tree called Ansible Test Q tree 01 under the volume name Ansible Test for 01, which belongs to a V server called V server 1. Before we go ahead and create this Q tree, let me see if that Q tree do exist or not. So we can see there is no Q tree in this simulator right now and we are good to run our playbook and see if we, this can create a Q tree for us. Let me save this file one more time. So as you know to run the YAML file or to run the playbook we always use ansible-playbook command and then the file name which in our case is qtree.yml. This is the mistake which I have done here. It should be the host, not the host name. I have changed it and made the changes. So you can see our QT creation seems like perfect because I can see change equal to one. That means there is one change has happened. Now let's see here and let's see if the Q tree is really created. I can see the Q tree called Ansible Test Q tree 01 is created here under the volume name Ansible Test Wall 01. So as you can see, this is a very small, very basic module which has helped us very easily to create a Q tree. As I said before, there are different states for different modules. We can, you can always try to play around with these modules with different parameters. For example, absent module should delete this Q tree. So let me try it. Absent state is absent. Let me try to run this playbook one more time. Okay, change, one change is there, which is expected now we should not see that q tree anymore you can see this q tree does not exist here anymore so same way if you go to this module you can see many other parameters here like rename the q tree so i will not go and rename the q tree right now but i will leave it for you to play around with this module and different modules and try it by yourself before I end this video, I just uh, let you know one thing. You will notice Qtree module create a Unix style Qtree. And in module, there is no option to create to change Qtree style. So probably in future version, we can have styles or more features which we can change. So just keep watching. Thank you.